what they moved your locker to? It's only temporary, till they fix the fire slash water damage. Yeah, well, that's what you get for taking a locker next to Harvey Wanna Buy a Cherry Bomb Lyman. <laughs> was that a rat? No, but it was carrying one in its mouth. <laughs> I can't believe I'm stuck down here. <coughs> oh, hey, Tommy. Hey, man. <laughs> Do you have a locker down here? No way. <laughs> it's creepy. Why is it always so smoky down here? You know, I think that's from the, uh, the boiler or something. <laughs> you guys are gonna be late. <laughs> okay, something just crawled across my foot. I'm leaving now. Okay, I'll see you at lunch if I'm still alive. <laughs> How are my eyes? Um, green. <laughs> really green. <laughs> Look, I can see myself. <laughs> Didn't think anybody else had a locker down here. Yeah, I just got moved. You, you're Jeremy Pinter, right? Yeah, and you're Zoe Bean. Oh, you knew my name. Well, I mean, of course you did. I knew your name. It's not like I'm exactly unknown. <laughs> it's on your book. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I did know it. You did? It's great down here, isn't it? I mean, it's like another world. Yeah, are you kidding? I requested the transfer. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> I so late last night, I fell asleep holding the phone. Oh, you're so sweet. And then the cord got tangled around my neck, and I woke up screaming and choking. <laughs> Maybe we should just email each other for a minute. Do you want to have some of the drink? I'll have what you're having. All right, all right. Two non-fat lactate lattes come right up. <laughs> okay, Norman, thank you for following me here. You can get away from me now. <laughs> God, I'm sure one pleasantry over the Marilyn Manson section of Tower, and I can't get rid of him. He seemed okay. He wears a special shoe. <laughs> there are no good men out there, Lisa. I beg to differ. Jeremy Pinter. We're talking about accessible men. Jeremy Pinter's a god. He's in the locker next to mine. We had, are you ready, a conversation. <laughs> That's right, me and Jeremy Pinter sparks are flying. <laughs> you expect me to believe you have something going on with the untouchable could be a chess model Jeremy Pinter. <laughs> you know what, Jane? There are good men out there. Whether Zoe's telling the truth about Jeremy. I'm Jeremy. telling the truth. I mean, look at Duncan. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> Duncan? I thought you were only interested in Duncan for his witty conversation. That was then, but. Lately, I find myself looking at his lips when he talks. I'm thinking about taking it to the next level. You are talking about Duncan, right? <laughs> yeah, frankly, I'm surprised neither of you two snatched him up. He's quite a catch. He is? Yeah, Duncan's adorable. If I didn't think of him in a completely maternal, non-sexual way, I would have bagged him by now. <laughs> what? I got us a cozy place in the corner. It's near the heater, so you won't be cold and my nose won't run. <laughs> We think of everything. See what I'm saying? Oh, poor Duncan. Stuck in that platonic hell. <laughs> She'll never kiss him. So glad I let that one go. She's thinking of taking their relationship to the next level, Jack. That conniving scumbag stole my girl. <laughs> Duncan did turn out kind of cute. Dirty, rotten bastard. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Duncan turned into good boyfriend material. Damn it. I'll make him pay. I am so sorry, you guys. What are you sorry about? No, well, I have Jeremy and Duncan as Lisa, and you guys are alone. Jeremy who? Oh, Zoe thinks that Jeremy Pinter spoke to her. <laughs> <laughs> as if. He's too cool for you. 
Okay, maybe I didn't used to be cool enough for Jeremy Pinter, but I don't know if you've noticed in the last year I've really blossomed. As a person. Hey, there's your boyfriend now. Oh, hey, Jeremy. He really likes you. Hey, Zoe. Oh, hi, Jeremy. I have to go. I'll be late for class. My teacher said if I'm late one more time, I'll have to uh, repeat softball. Oh, really? Because I, I was kind of hoping we could talk. Really? I mean, because when I saw you at the cafe the other day, you kind of ignored me. Was that you? Because, you know, I thought I heard somebody call my name, and then I turned around, and I didn't really see anybody. How could you not see me? I was right in front of your face. Well, I didn't have my contacts in. It was right after swim team. Swim team? Mm. <laughs> Speedos. <laughs> oh, okay, no big deal. Oh, bet you have girls yelling your name all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm, um, <clears throat> kind of a loner. Me too. <laughs> I mean, not in the sense that I'm ever alone, but I feel like I am constantly. And all my friends that I hang out with are loners. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe in soulmates? Can I have a lock of your hair? <laughs> What's happened to us, Jack? What have we become? Duncan has a girlfriend. Even Zoe has an imaginary boyfriend. You're spinning out again, Jane. Do it a little closer to the tracks. <laughs> Tell me that you're not upset that Duncan chose Lisa over your skinny ass. You're the one who should be upset. Duncan was your backup plan. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, let's see. You were going to take him for granted until you couldn't find somebody else, then start dating him, right? Damn you. See, you're the one who's upset. You're projecting onto me. Yeah. Why would you be upset that a stunning woman rejected you and chose Duncan? Yeah, why would I? <laughs> Hurry up, Peter. Come on, miss. Move it limey. It's not tea time. Right away. That is a bit small. Hello, Jane and Jack. Peter. These are the Cooper twins. They're so popular that they have to hang out with one another. How lovely. They're complete losers, you idiot. Nice to meet you anyway. Same here. Yeah. Who the hell are you? Peter is my boyfriend. My parents sent away for him. Uh, I'm an exchange student. Uh, I'm here to learn about your customs All and... right, that's enough. Come on, I want to get a seat in the front of the train so I can tell the conductor what to do. Right. Coming through, we're out of the way. <laughs> Well, it's official. We are the last two people on Earth who are not in a relationship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you suggesting, Jane? I'm saying that your girlfriend is with my backup boyfriend and we have to do something about it. What we should do is break them up and take what's rightfully ours. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Here's Zoe. Poor Zoe. Does she still think she's dating Jeremy? Afraid so. <laughs> what should we do about it? Should we just go along with it? Yeah, best not to provoke her. Let's go. Hey, notice anything different about my hair? You have an O'Henry wrapper in it? <laughs> <laughs> it's windblown. But I guess that's just what you have to deal with when you're riding on the back of... Jeremy Pinter's motorcycle. <laughs> so where is Jeremy? Or is he here now? <laughs> no, he's parking his bike. He'll be right in. <laughs> It'll be so nice to see him. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me? Uh, you, th you think I'm crazy? <laughs> uh, well, um, how crazy is uh this? <laughs> this would be. A lock of Jeremy's hair. Oh, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I recognize that anywhere. <laughs> You're right. No question about it. That is Jeremy's hair. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to go freshen up. When Jeremy comes in, tell him I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> Flowers? Who would know how to find me here? Duncan. <laughs> She's got the flowers. What name did you put on the card? Phil. <laughs> Phil. 
That ought to drive Duncan nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Duncan, how sweet are you? I didn't. Phil? Who's Phil? I don't know Phil, really. Look at him squirm. His left eye's twitching. I don't know any Phil. I don't know what this is about, but I really... Shh, shh. It's okay. You are a beautiful, terrific, wonderful young lady. And this is bound to happen. You're going to have secret admirers. There are going to be tons of Phil's sending you flowers. I can handle that. Oh, Duncan. I'm going to put Duncan in one of those jackets. You know, you know, the uh, cool ones with the French? He looked great in that. I'm going to straighten his hair. She's holding his hand. In the good way or the bad way? What's the bad way to hold a hand? Like this? Ah. You're an idiot with your plant. <laughs> Oh, come on, Zoe. We're going to the movie. Oh, I told you. I'm waiting for Jeremy. He'll be right in. <laughs> he will. <laughs> of course he will. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to find parking for a motorcycle. Right. <laughs> you know, she used to be the stable one in the group. What a shame. <laughs> Two coffees, please. Sorry, but I got paged. My sister's liver finally came in. It was a miracle. And meanwhile, I am sitting alone in a restaurant. Jeremy's so great. Jeremy's gonna meet me here. They think I'm nuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you say something about liver? So you're embarrassed to be dating me? We're dating? We're dating. <laughs> standing here kissing for an hour. Hey, but can you just stay until one of my friends walks by? I promise you, I will meet them sometime soon, okay? Wait, 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 wait. How's that hickey you gave me, though? Ooh, actually, it looks pretty bad. Sorry. No, that's good. Okay, you can go. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jack! Jane! You just missed my boyfriend! Jeremy! Jeremy! <laughs> You missed him. It's okay, Zoe. How long have you been down here screaming his name like that? Mm-hmm. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> that is an impressive blush. Con, how do you give yourself a hickey? Vacuum clean. <laughs> What's happening, you guys? Zoe gave herself a hickey. I did not. Jeremy sucked on my neck. Zoe, I could fix you up with a friend of mine. He's really cute. And I, I have a boyfriend. Smell him on me. <laughs> okay, fine. You know, I'm gonna prove that Jeremy is my boyfriend and then you will all be sorry. Duncan, you look tired. Hey, you get enough sleep, honey? That's funny that you should say that. Because I was getting threatening phone calls all night. You were? Yeah, yeah. It was hard to make out. But I think they said if I didn't stay away from pizza, I would die. Pizza? <laughs> You sure it wasn't a name, you know, something that sounds like pizza? No, no, no. It was, it was hard to tell, but they were talking to a towel. I was a little shaken. To tell you the truth, I don't know if I'll ever be able to have pizza again. Come on now. Who's my brave little soldier? Duncan. <laughs> That's right. Uh, way to go, pizza. <laughs> Lisa, you threatened him. This next. is not working, okay? We're just bringing them closer together. No, 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 I'm not turning back now. That feeble minded little simp is rightfully my boyfriend. What's Duncan's weakest spot? Where's his Achilles heel? Zoe would know. She worships her forever. No, we can't rely on her. She's crackers. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. What's it? Zoe is Duncan's soft spot. Oh. Well, I thought of it. Uh, you didn't think of it. I thought of it. You couldn't think your way out of a shoe. That's ridiculous. Why would I be in a shoe? Do you want to stand here and argue, or do you want to go ruin a perfectly beautiful relationship? Hey, Tommy, 
Uh, it's not mine, man. Do me a favor. Jeremy gave you a hickey. <laughs> when Jeremy shows up, take a picture of us together, all right? Wait, why do I have to wait for Jeremy to show up to take a picture of us? <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I got it now. I got it. Okay, make sure we're together, preferably when we're kissing. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> okay. Oh, here he comes. Hey, Jeremy! Hey, sexy. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> now! Oh. See? That's Jeremy right behind the phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's no doubt that is Jeremy. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, come on. The picture, the hair. All right, you know, I thought maybe you would doubt this undeniable proof. That's why I arranged a surprise party for Jeremy at my apartment tonight. I want you all to be there. Oh, is it his birthday or something? I don't know. <laughs> bye, bye. 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 You guys, I am really worried about Zoe. I just wish I knew what to do to help her. Duncan, I, I think you know what's going on with Zoe. I do. Isn't it obvious? Can't you see all the signals? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Could you run those by me one more time? <laughs> she's totally freaked about you and Lisa. What did we do? No, no, see, she's just placed all her feelings for you in this, this fantasy life for Jeremy. Feelings for me? Oh, come on. You know, deep down, Zoe has intense feelings for you. She does? I did not know that. Well, maybe I knew that. I mean, it makes complete sense. Look at me. <laughs> you hold the key to her sanity. You do know how you can help her, don't you? Break up with Lisa. For Zoe. She needs you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why do these things always happen to me? Hey, man, these things never happen to me. <laughs> That's why I don't know what to do. I have no frame of reference. <laughs> You think it'll tear them apart? Who cares? At this point, I'm just having fun. Hey, hey, have you guys seen a scrawny, snaggletooth Brit? Your boyfriend is skate brainy? That's very funny. Actually, he's probably limping. He, he jumped out of a third-story window. Can we at least take off the hats? No. You've driven me to this. It's your fault for not believing me. She's really far gone, Duncan. What did I tell you? You're right, you're right. I had no idea. She was so hung up on me. She is, and now she's holding us hostage. How far are you gonna let this go? Duncan, you have to help poor crazy Zoe. All right, I'll do it. Zoe's my lifelong friend, you know? I shouldn't let my happiness stand in the way of her mental well-being. Hey, how's it going? Did I miss anything? Lisa, we have to talk. <laughs> I know in time you'll understand because you're just a... understanding person. It's just that Zoe needs me right now, and that's why I think we should stop seeing each other. I don't know what to say. I want you to know that I'm here for you. <laughs> Do you need a hug? Not now. I don't think Jeremy's coming. Oh, Zoe. Dear sweet Zoe. Jeremy is never coming. But that's okay. I don't... No, shh. Don't scream out. I can hear you. Oh, hey, that's Jeremy Pinter. Huh. Who knew? Oh, my God, Jeremy. What's going on? Happy birthday, Jeremy. Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> Who are they? These are my best friends in the whole world. All right, look, Zoe, there's one thing I can't tolerate. Oh, I'll get rid of them. No, no, no. You, you were kissing that guy. I mean, you're cheating on me. I can't live with that. Oh, but that's just Duncan. And besides, he goes out with Lisa. Duncan, you know I'm here for you if you need me. So then that's Lisa. No, I'm Lisa. <laughs> you know what you need? A mega dose of vitamin J. <laughs> All right, so then what's she doing with him? See, it's complicated. She used to just talk to Duncan and make out with Jack and... Who's Jack? Jack is Jane's twin, and Jane's... She's... I don't... 
know what she's doing. <laughs> okay, you know, I don't want to know. <laughs> but, Jeremy, I baked you a cake. It's not my birthday. <laughs> Can you ever forgive me? I was consumed with jealousy when you kissed Zoe. So was I. <laughs> you think we should still see each other? Let's take it to the next level. Okay, okay I think I'm gonna be sick. I am full of such hatred for both you and myself right now. <laughs> Ditto. See? I'm not crazy. <laughs> Are you taking my lunches? Who? Me. My lunch for three days has been disappearing. <laughs> I'm not even here, man. <laughs> okay, just stay out, okay? Tuna again. Peter? Peter, I know you're down here. You can't run forever, Peter. Call me immigration. <laughs> 